Okay, so today we start with the next for resonant. We already done for RC circuit, IL circuit, RCL theory parallel, and also we already know about the complex number. That's only telling you. You can solve in the RCL circuitry either by the one we already did it or the new way using the complex number. Okay. Today we continue with the resonant. Okay, so this is a very uh, basic thing we have to know. Like, you know, this is a sideway and you have to know this is a one complete cycle or the period, okay? And this is a zero degree, 90, 180, 270, and 360 degree or zero. That's going back to zero, okay? And basically, when you're working on the analog ultralight scope, you cannot get directly measure of the frequency, okay? The analog scope for the time domain, that's only telling you, you can measure the period, not the frequency. If you want the frequency, you have to use in the formula, F equal one over T, okay? And the next one for the wavelength, okay? So it's still here, the same, one cycle. However, the time, not the time domain, this will be the distance, okay? And wavelength is the distance travel by the waveform in one cycle. So that like on velocity, divide to the frequency, okay? The wavelength of the radio waves is found using formula, that like on meter, equal three times 10 to the power of eight, divide to the frequency in hertz, okay? And three times 10 power of eight meter per second, that's the velocity of a radio wave in the space. I try to get as much lecture on the AC done, then I will be go with you on the wave, you know, the signal transmitted over the air for radio wave, okay? For transmitter and receiver. Now, <clears throat> for the theory, a parallel circuit. We have special effect when the inductive reactant exhale equal to the capacity reactant XC. For the series LC circuit, XL and XC will be equal at some frequency 
and cancel each other, leaving only the internal resistance of the coin to limit the current flow. Now, you understand a when the capacitor get the AC signal, then they can get the resistance. That's what they call capacitive reaction. XC equal one over two pi FC. So if you changing the F frequency, that means you changing XC. And also inductor, they get an inductive reactant XL equal to pi FL. So you changing the frequency, also you can changing HL. Another thing you have to know, HC and HL on the time will be 180 degree our phase. HL going up, HC going down. So if I see equal like L and an inductive resistance will be canceled out. That's a very important. Okay. For parallel LC, the inductive capacity brand current will equal at some frequency at the results of HL and XC being equal. So whenever XC and HL equal, so parallel circuitry current ICIL also on the time will be opposite 180 degrees. So if they equal, they cancel out the result, but opposite brand current Therefore, we cancel each other, resulting in a net total light current in nearly zero. The formula used to determine the frequency where HL equals HC, F resonant equals one over two pi times square root of LC. That means frequency resonant will be calculated by one over two pi times square root of L times C. In this formula, FR equal hub, HLO and HCBO. And FR that is what we call resonant frequency. Question, Mr. Let me tell you one thing. At the resonant frequency, XC equals XL. Or in the parallel, IC equals IL. Question, Mr. Fan? Yeah. Go ahead. Or the... Uh... XL to equal XC. Is that two sinusoidal waves laying on top of each other? No. What do you mean laying? Well, if one's lag or one's behind or one's ahead. No, 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 no. You tend to have two separate signals, but if they equal each other, is that two signals that are Cancel. not? They're, they're canceled, but Can then. Cancel the reactor. Only the reactors. Right. So what, what would that look like in the... It's only telling you, like for this circuitry here, if I see equal XL, so no more resistance for the reactor, they cancel out. So the circuitry only one 
But this dog left over. And this what? That's what they wanted. Okay. The, re the resistance is the only left over. Only potential left within the circuit to at the resonant to draw the next uh, phase of a signal. Yeah, that means no more, no more. I see no more. I tell. at the resonant. All right, I'll have to study that one. All right, thank you. Okay. Now, we're talking about series uh, resonant foot. RI. You can see that RI. That re resistance is the coil, internal resistance. So the coil, basically, they're using the wire to make the coil. And the wire gets a resistance. That's just a very small, okay? The quality of the figure of merit for a coil is a measure of its reactant to its internal resistance. So Q equals HL divided to RI. They're telling you how the coil will be good or not, okay? If a big resistance, so the quality is not good. They want it small as much as we can. Okay. So any question up to this point? Only I want to tell you when the you vary frequency, then I care will be increase or decrease. XL, the same, the thing is, depending on the formula we already given to you, XC and XL. At a certain frequency, XC, XL equal. And you understand XC, XL opposite 180 degrees. One going up, another going down. So if they equal, they cancel out. Like for this circuitry here, when they cancel out, you don't have any more XL. You don't have any more XC. So the circuit left over only the internal resistance of the coil. Okay? At, and at that frequency, we go on resonant frequency and to be calculated by the formula fi equal one over two pi times square root of lc okay and if you want to know the quality of the coil you can calculate it equal itl divide to ri I bit K will be going down. Okay? We don't want more resistance, internal resistance of the coin. Okay? That is not good. Now, try to understand for this circuitry here. For this circuitry here, you can get a 25 volt IMF and the circuit already show you lot on lot pay. Now, see what happened here. Now you understand this is the frequency. That means the frequency domain. Signal will be changing when the frequency changes. Okay. And this will be stand for G total. You understand G total equal what? Total impedance. If you understand it, total impedance will be equal 
I tell plus I I um I see like we already calculated in the past. Okay. However, the frequency right here, one megahertz, that's what we call a resonant frequency. So at the resonant frequency, IL actually equal so they cancel out. You can get only one resistance will be 12.56 ohm. So that's why you're looking in here. You can say at the resonant frequency, total impedance equal 12.56 ohm. That means only data. And on another display here, that will be displayed for the current. Okay, this stand for total current, and this stand for the frequency domain. So at the regular frequency one megahertz, then you can get the I total equal 199. Then the I equal zero and they keep going up until resonant. This is the maximum of frequency uh, color. Okay. When the frequency increase more, current going down. So that's why you understand in when you tuning your radio. That means you changing value of IL and XC until they equal. When they equal, you get the maximum color. That means you get a maximum power. Okay? So that will be to display at the resonant what the total impedance equal and what the maximum current equal. Okay, any question? Okay, if it's not, Now, I don't know if dry or wrong. For example, but I want you to do the calculation for me. Okay? So, the first one, they want to calculate the resonant frequency. And you understand the formula. Okay? FR one over, okay, uh, Q pi time LC. Okay, go ahead and calculate whoever telling me the answer will be right or wrong. My calculation, I get one megahertz. Okay, try to do it, okay? At least you have to do the calculation. You understand the way we're thinking in the zoom different. 
from the college or university. You know what happened in the university or the college? They just let you watch the video, okay? First day, second day, and the next day, the instructor will be with your guy for any question, anything. Okay? I don't want to do that way. So that's why we have to get the own website. I like we working like student in the class and you have to cooperate with me. Okay? You have to do your calculation or do something. They're telling me you can do it or not. So, number one, my calculation is one megahertz. Do you get that? Yeah, I got that calculated. Okay, so that is a one megahertz. Now, next. They want to calculate the inductive reactant at resonant. So the formula will be HL equal to pi times F A R times L. My calculation, second is 28.40. If you get that, just let me know. I got the same thing. Yes, okay. I got it. Okay, thank you. So basically, you substitute the value to formula I can equal two pi fr. That means one megahertz times L. You get 628.4 ohm. And number three, they want to calculate the IC at a resonant. We not, I don't want to calculate it. We know at the resonant IC, HL will be equal. So they will be also 628.4 ohm. If you want to calculate, you have to use in this formula. HC equal 1 over 2 pi F R times C. Okay. Now, number four. They want to calculate the total impedance, okay? At the total impedance, normally they will be square root of I square plus H square. But H, the difference between H, C, H, L equal to be zero. So that only one you can get will be 12.56 ohm, okay? And make sure the difference between HLHC at the resonant equal zero. The thing is HC and HL equal. And then they want to calculate the total current I total. So now the circuitry only one resistor RI and a one voltage V total. Then you can take 25 volt divide 12.56, you get 1.99 ampere. And also number six, they want the quality Q, how the inductance 
good by the formula k equal i k l divide to r i. Okay, and that will be equal fifty. Finally, capacitor and inductor voltage. Okay, V C equal V L equal I T times H L. You can get one thousand two hundred fifty point five volt. Okay, so any question about data? Very basic calculation for the theory resonance. Okay, if no question, and I get the question to you, what the fair angle? Zero. VT and IT. Who can tell me what the fair angle of the VT and IT at the reference, at the resonance? Zero. Zero, yeah. Equal what? What theta? Who can tell me? Are in phase. Equal. How many degree? Zero. Perfect. Zero. How come they be zero? There is no resistor capacitor in Bossing say. Okay. At the regimen. You don't see any more inductive, inductor capacitor. You get only one resistor and one voltage short. So that's why they get in phase. And we can tell you they will be zero degree. Okay, so that will be a completely calculation for theory RCL at the resonance. Okay, this is just the, uh, let's see. Fair angle, the zero degree, okay? Now, the bandwidth, you can see the bandwidth, okay? Equal FR divide to give. If you're looking on the display here, that display for the current, total current, Okay, and this will be a frequency domain. The signal look like that one here. Okay, current at the zero, when you changing HC, HL, current keep going up to the maximum here. That means at the resonant frequency, FR. Then, 
I based on the frequency changing. So then we'll be keep going down. Okay. So now, basically, this is the maximum power. Okay. And basically, they get the two point. That will be minus 3 dB, break point. And the bandwidth will be calculated from this side to this side. And that will be calculated by FR over Q. My calculation given to you 20 kilohertz. So we already calculate FR equal one megahertz, Q equal 50. Okay, so that's why bandwidth equal 20 kilohertz. And you get a two cut off point here. Okay, one cut, cut off, lower cut off. Some books say FL, F high. Some say F1, F2, doesn't matter. So lower cutoff will be FR minus bandwidth divide two. That means FR right here. Okay, you can see right here. FR, okay. Minus bandwidth divide two. Minus that one. So that's why this a the cut lower cut off. And I calculation I get nine nine zero kilo hub. And also they wanna what the higher cut off right here. So easy for you. You can take the resonant frequency adding to a half of the bandwidth. Okay. So my calculation, you get 1.01 1 .01 megahertz. So that will be telling you after you calculate everything on the theory resonant then you also need to talking about the fair angle different between total voltage and the total impedance. And at night, you have to be calculate the bandwidth, okay, of the signal. Bandwidth equal FR divide to Q. And you already know Q equal HL divide to RI. RI mean internal resistance of the coil. And also you have to calculate the lower cutoff and a higher cutoff. Okay. You see now you can see it's not hard to understand. Right? Any question up to this point? If it's not, try to say. Okay, we're talking about night parallel resonance. If you're looking into this circuitry here, <clears throat> parallel resonant, okay? This is L, this is C, okay? And this basically internal resistance of the coil, okay? and the current flowing through the inductor. You can say IL, the current flow through the capacitor 
that will be IC, okay? And basically, this is the high total. So I total will be equal I1 plus I2 or IL plus IC. So if IL equal IC at the resonance, that means the current in the brain in here equal zero, okay? And the total current we call a light current, okay? Almost very small. We see how, what happened now. First thing, they want to calculate the resonance frequency, my calculation, 1.006, okay? And now you, in order to calculate it and make sure I get the right answer at 1.006 megahertz. F I equal one out two pi square root L times C. Okay, who we'll get the 1.006 megahertz? 1.006 megahertz is correct. Same thing, right? Yeah. Okay, good. Go to number two. They want to get the HL at the resonance. So you already know HL equals 2 pi FRL. And I see will be one over two pi F R C, and 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 then we remember at the resonant frequency I C equal I K L. So make sure whoever telling me you get six point thirty two kilo ohm. Because of the resonance. Get it? Is it six point thirty two kilo? Of the frequency resonance of this Z have to be the same. Okay. Frequency resonance one point zero zero six megahertz. Now I want to verify HL or HC at the resonance. They be equal. My calculation, 6.32 kilo ohm. Okay, nhưng mà kêu lúc khác đi, anh đang dạy.
Okay, who gets six point thirty two kilo? Six point thirty two yeah. kilo ohms is correct. Okay, correct. That's perfect. And number four, they want to calculate the brain current IL. IL. IL equal V total divide to HL at the resonance. You understand the HC HL equal. So both current will be equal. Okay. And I calculation, I get 0 0.0237 milli air. This is the current value, 0.0237 million. Okay, thank you. So number four, number five, both the same. Number six, they want to know Q. And I get the Q equal 150. That's an easy, right? IKL divide RI. Yeah, it's correct. 150. Okay. And number seven, they want to get the total impedance at the resonance. The formula will be Q time IKL. And I get 948 kilo. Yes, 948 kilo ohm. Okay, perfect. And number eight, they want the total current ID at the regional. You understand it, of course, total current ID, that ID here, they call a lie current. Okay, I total equal VT divide G total. I get 0 0.158 micro air. Mr. Pham. I've got a question for you. Okay, go ahead. On usually on uh, oh, this is AC. It's it just that usually IT is equal to I one plus I two, isn't that right? Exactly. But the thing is, they be cancel out IC equal IL. However, the light current you still get a little current. Mm -hmm. And when you calculate the IT equal, you get the V total and the G total. So that will be 0 0.158 micro M. If you measure the current here in this, uh, in this brand, 
you can get the IL. You measure on the other side in here, you can get the current of the capacitor. But both current supposed to be equal at the regular, but the light current here still get a little current. That's what we calculated, you get a 0 0.158 micro M. They still get a current, okay? So, so what you're saying is uh, IL and IC is opposite each other, so it's near. Right, they are opposite. Near. Okay, okay. Because I was looking at the two number, if it's one minus the other. Right. I mean, one plus the other is equal to double that, but it, I forgot that uh, one of them is negative. Okay, thank you. That's why you can get total current 0 0.158. And now you see the display here. This will be display for what? Total impedance, right? Z total. So you can see at the resonant frequency, you get the maximum impedance, okay? And this stands for the curvature high total. They will be get a very little current here. That's what we calculate 0 0.158 micro M. So you get two different. One will be series resonant. When we need a series resonant, that means you need to get the maximum current. Okay. However, if you want a maximum impedance, then they will be parallel, not serial. Okay. And now we want to verify for number 9, 10, 11. Bandwidth, you do it for me. Lower cut off, higher cut off. I get 6.7 kilohertz in the bandwidth. Lower cut off, I get 0 0.99 megahertz and higher. Cut off 1.009 megahertz. Please verify that calculation. Mr. Pham, is that right? That uh, that ZT is equal to Q times XL? Right, ZT. We already did it. Q times XL equal 948 kilo. Yeah, the calculator all right. The bandwidth, you get 6.7? Yes. Good. Number 10, I just want to make sure we get the right answer for the student not in the Zoom or for the student it cannot, still confusing. They try to do again in order to get through it.
Okay, lower cut off to get 0 0.99. Yeah, I got that. Okay, go ahead and finish it's number 11, 1 1.009. Okay, who get 1.009 mega? <clears throat> I got 1.009 megahertz. Okay, that will be done for that calculation. Okay, and make sure if you get any question regarding into the display, can it is for maximum impedance. When you get a maximum repeated, you get the minimum current. Okay. Now we'll see. That will be on the left wall. Let's see what the what they say here. Do inductive and the capacity reactant in an ILC circuit vary with the frequency? Yes or no? Yes. Okay, good. We'll be yeah. Okay. The thing is when you get through that one, that helps you a lot. When you're doing the left vault, okay, you can get through quickly. An increase in the frequency cost the inductive reactant IKL to increase and a decrease in the frequency got inductive reactant to be decreased. Okay, so basically, if this is the frequency domain, okay, and that's the value of IKL. So if you decrease IKL, you, de you decrease frequency. IKL will be decreased. You increase frequency, IKL will be going up. And this is a capacitor, same thing. A decrease in the frequency app caught the capacity reactant IC to increase. However, you increase the frequency caught the capacity reactant IC to a or B.
B. B. Chris. B. B. Decrease. When you increase the frequency, you see that formula here. I see equal one over two by F C. If you go up F, that means I have to be going down. At some frequency, the inductive and the capacity reactant are equal in series RLC circuit. This frequency is called a resonant frequency. Okay, you can see you increase frequency of the three frequency at a certain point. HL and HC equal and they opposite, so they cancel out. Okay, and this frequency we call resonant frequency. To calculate the resonant frequency, apply the following formula. Fi equal 1 over q pi square root L times C. We already done. At the resonant, the reactants are equal, so they cancel one another. I can actually will be canceled out. The total circuit impedance of a series ILC circuit at resonant in is simply the circuit resistance R1. Actually, I can cancel out only R1. This response. That means the output curve. So that at frequency increase, the circuit impedance G decrease until it reaches a minimum point R. That means at a resonant frequency here, the circuitry only impedance will be resistant. Okay? At resonant point, total circuit current A, a minimum or maximum. 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 Perfect. Maximum. The thing is impedance. Go to minimum, that telling you the current will be maximum. That output response mean output curve so that at frequency increase, the circuit current IT in uh, create until it reach a maximum point. Okay, then it decrease again. You can see that for the current, okay, current going maximum at the resonant. Then frequency increase is going down again. ILC series circuits are widely used in radio, TV, and communication equipment for tuning and filtering because they allow a lot quick current at the resonant frequency and provide a high opposition to current flow at all other frequency. This ability to select a desired frequency while rejecting other frequency is known as selectivity. That means when you're tuning your radio, you're looking for the resonant. Okay? That's what we're talking about, selectivity. 
the selectivity of a circuit is determined by the bandwidth. That means they want the bandwidth. Okay, we already know, right? How to do calculation. But they want the signal, get the frequency inside the bandwidth. The bandwidth is determined by upper, lower, cutoff frequency of the circuit. Bandwidth equal F2 minus F1. This is the F2. From here to F2, from here to F1. F2 minus F1. You get the bandwidth. The selectivity and the bandwidth of a series RLC circuit depend on the circuit Q, that quality. Okay? Q equal HL over R. How good the resistance? How good the coil? Sorry. At what frequency are inductive capacity reaction equal in series RLC? The answer will be B, the resonant frequency. B, resonant frequency. Okay, resonant frequency calculate from form, following formula we already know. In this formula, they given you two pi, 6.28 L have to be in Henry, C have to be in Farad, F R will be in her. So you understand me, left phone sit up. That's a very, very good basic training for technician or engineering. That's the basic. You want to get into electronic area. You must know. So that's why the cost for the whole system of the left one cost too much. Okay? And also the circuit board. The board you're working on right now, AC1, AC2, you understand it board cost 1500 Okay. Calculate the resonant frequency of this circuit, okay? And you support to do calculation. And the answer will be 33.95 kilohertz. We not try to repeat doing calculation, okay? When the resonant frequency of this circuit is 33.952 kilohertz, the inductive reactant IKL1 and capacity reactant IC1 are equal. Okay, and this is they calculate IKL and IC and they get 21, 32 ohm, okay? I hope up to this point, you can understand, okay? Now, since IKL1, IKLC1 equal, the effect cancel one another. The total circuit impedance is simply the circuit resistance. What is the circuit impedance? Now you're looking into the circuitry. You can see Z total look like equal one K or one thousand O. Okay. If you question, let me know. Okay. Otherwise, we keep moving. The thing is, everything we already given to you. Now, 
at the resonant total circuit current, high total can be determined from applied voltage and the total circuit resistance. So now the resistance only 1000 ohm, maximum current will be 15 milliamp. And on this one, they want to calculate the what VR1, the voltage across R1, voltage across L1, and the voltage across C1. And that's what you get. Okay. Now, see what's in here. AM radio. You understand the, it's a frequency domain. Okay. AM radio, 10 kilohertz bandwidth from 540 go to 1600 kilohertz. If you guys listen to the radio, if AM, then you can see you know, they can go in from 540 to 1600 kilohertz. Okay? And they're telling you they get a total 106 possible bands. Okay? So, when you're learning about a radio, fan meter, so basically the frequency of the radio very low, 540, up to 1600 kilohertz. In order to transmit it over the air, later on you can understand they need to carry the frequency they carry that frequency up to the very high frequency. Okay? Then they can transmit it. So when that signal go into the radio, first thing the radio have to remove the carrier in order to get to 540, up to 1600 kilohertz. Okay? Any question? on this display. So that's why you can see they got carrier frequency. Think that they want carrier. Oh. You, you can emit the signal. How do you get 100, uh, 106 bands. No, no, that is basically defined for the AM radio. On your car, you get radio. If you tune it, you can say AM, they just given you from 540 up to 1600. Okay. Like you can tune to 768 uh, or whatever. And basically, they divide into the band, and you get 106 possible band. Okay. Same thing, like FM. You can get a FM frequency when you tune in your radio from 90 or 105. Okay, see what here. You can get L, C here, L here, I here. That we already know. Okay. And they did play here. They're telling you R equal 10 O, equal 5 O, equal 3.5 O. Basically, this is the one you wanted. Okay. And W0 equal 2 pi F equal 10 to the power 7 radian per second. Okay? So basically, 
this they display by radio. And this is a resonant frequency. So when we get to for the radio transmitter receiver, you can understand a little more. Another one. Basically, resonant frequency right here. Okay. Q higher, 14.3, and this lower, Q equal five. So that is a narrow band. Okay. This a wide band. If you calculate the bandwidth, this is a narrow band. This is a wide band. Why you want the narrow, not the wide? Signal you strong. want the narrow band, but you don't want a wide band. Signal stronger. Signal stronger, one thing. The other thing, it will be less noise. Okay? The thing is, the bandwidth for the narrow band will be smaller than the bandwidth for the lower band you get a wider band width, you get more signal can get into it, okay? That's it. Okay, so now, uh, Mr. Sam. Yes, sir. You ready for the priest? I'm ready when you are. Okay, I stop this guy. Okay. Just a minute. Okay. 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 Just like I mentioned before, just make sure that when you do the quiz, maybe sometime we have more than more than the uh, more than the number that is listed on the on the report. So, like I said, you can open up the report up, copy that main sheet. Okay. Let me go ahead and go enable it. And then you want to do is come in here, highlight the whole thing, copy it, and then come back to the bottom of the sheet here, open up another worksheet and control V to paste it here. And then you want to do is just come in here and add a couple more lines onto it. And so you can say that this would be number 19, next one is 20 or whatever it is. Okay, so in this, in this uh, quiz, we're going to have a total of 19 questions. So that's why that's how you would be able to do it. Okay. All right, here we go. Okay, so quiz number five. Okay, so start from the beginning.
Okay, so that's pretty much it. So make sure you upload it to the website before 12 noon tomorrow. Okay. Anybody have any other question before we call it the end of the night? Okay, no question. Have a good one. Thank you. Have a good night. Okay, good night. Good night, everybody. Okay, good night, everyone.